Welcome to the 120th Annual Irrigation Festival Grand Parade. How many squimites do we have here today? Let's hear from the out-of-towners. How many out-of-towners here today? Ah, uh, looks like you're warmed up for this thing. My name is Pepper. This is my lovely wife, Sue. Say hello, Sue. Well, hello, everybody. We will be your announcers again this year because we never shut up. That's how we got the job. And so I just wanted to thank our um, our DJ here. The wonderful music that you were listening to earlier is provided by OB1. You might know him as OB1. He's yes. a DJ. His name is Owen Blake. Thank you, buddy, for the sound. Woo! We also want to make sure that you thank your Rotary Clubs. They work all year long to put on the Irrigation Festival and the Grand Parade. And none of this would happen without uh, hundreds of volunteers. Let's give them all a big hand. The Swim Irrigation Grand Parade always starts with the thundering herd of the uh, Tonight Old Motorcycle Club. When you hear the roar of the engines, there they are now. This year up on the dais, we are joined by the parade judges. They judge the bands, they judge the floats. Uh, and so be on your best behavior, you are being watched. We have Patsy Mattingly over here. Say hello, Patsy. And we have Jerry Carlson. Say hi, Jerry. Hi, hi. So as you may or may not know, uh, the Tonino Motorcycle Drill Team has been doing this for 32 years. They've been performing for communities all over Washington State. Well, hello, Tonino. Everybody give them a big round of applause. That's here for the Tonino Motorcycle Club, all the way from Tonino, Washington. All right, where's Chad? Where's Chad? There's Chad. He's the captain. We've got Jerry. Where's Jerry? All right. We've got a Dan and a Scott. Steve, Gary, Tom, Ed, and Jesse. Dave is on the three-wheeler that should be coming in. I think they left the three-wheeler home. Oh, That's they here. may have. All members ride 1,200cc or larger, Harley Davidson's of course, America's Motorcycle. Hello, Hi, guys. Hello. Welcome to Squim. Welcome. Thank you. Let's hear it. Atta boy. Woo! Yeah, lean on those horns. Wow, very tight. Let's hear 
we get for the Tanana Motorcycle Club. Thank you, Doc. In one of their brand new rigs. What do you think of that? Got new cars, huh? Brand new cars. Got those last year. Who's behind the wheel, Sue? I can't see. I can't see. Corey, good to see you. Keeping you safe, guys. Hello, Daryl. Hello. How are you? I'm well. Thanks for pulling me over the other day. My pleasure. It, <laughs> I drive much safer now. Coming up next to your parade. You gotta stay away from that speaker, Sue. That was my fault. You think? In the old World War II Jeep over here, we have Dean Geddes, 93 years old today. Let's wish him a happy birthday, folks. Happy birthday, Dean. Woohoo! World War II veteran, joined the Army May 9th, 1939. My goodness. 93 years old today. Well, thank you. 76 years ago today, he joined the Army. Happy birthday, Dean. Thank you for your service. You. Up next, folks, we have the folks who put on this festival every year. It's your Squib Sunrise Rotary Club. None of this happens without the hard work all year round of these great volunteers that do so much for our community. Thank you so much. Thank you. Squib Sunrise Rotary is most proud of the club's combined efforts to bring the American flag to subscribers in the greater Squim area. Proceeds from this subscription program are used for various projects for the good of Squim, local school student recognitions, and a host of other very important contributions to our fair city. And also, they also uh, are with the uh, shelter box program for the past nine years. You're looking at one of the shelter boxes here. They provide shelter and vital supplies to support communities around the world overwhelmed by disaster. Squim Sunrise has purchased more boxes than any of the other 7,500 Rotary Clubs in America. Very successful program for your local Rotary. Thank you for your support of Sunrise Rotary and Shelter Box. All right, coming through the intersection right now is Olympic Ambulance Service. Woo! Let's hear it for Olympic Ambulance. Established in 1971. All right. We love it when you make some noise. Great. Well, it doesn't look like anybody's hurt on that gurney, so that's a good, that's a good thing. <laughs> Right. Clallam County Sheriff's Department Chain Gang up next. Chain Gang program started in July of 1998. Since then, there have been over 1,000 inmates who have worked in the program. It receives grants from the Washington State Department of Ecology for litter and dump site cleanup projects. The U.S. Forest Service also pays for campground cleanup work. So that's why your trails are so gorgeous, guys. Up next. 
Well, we American know. Legion. There we go. Okay, we're out of order. American <laughs> Legion. Hello. Brennan Post number 62. Uh, comprised of veteran soldiers and sailors in the oldest Veterans Association in Squim since 1919. Almost 100 years here in town. All the great works they do. Thank you, veterans, folks. American Legion Riders? Up next. Would that be you? American Legion Riders? American Riders. Legion Riders. All American right. Legion Post number 29 of Port Angeles. Folks, I want to remind you, as the various veterans organizations pass by today, we hope you'll all make a special effort to let them know how much we appreciate the commitment that it takes to join our military services and pledge to defend our freedoms and our way of life. Thank a veteran every chance you get for their service and support them any way you can. Let's never forget those brothers and sisters who never made it home. I met these nice people at the Chevron station this morning when I was getting water. Did you? Hi, Gary. Wherever Gary is. American Legion Post 29 of Port Angeles. Thank you so much for coming. Hey, does somebody want to reason? Oh, okay. You can lend us the support of our um, patrons here. Number seven. This entry is called Your Grand, You're a Grand Old Flag. The Forks Old Fashioned Fourth of July. Fort celebrates patriotism, freedom, and country. Absolutely. Thanks for coming, guys. Honoring all who protect, serve, and support. Oh, and it looks like we have a winner. First place. First place. Fourth Congratulations. Outstanding. Let's that is our first place float winner. Thanks for coming all the way from Forks. Yes. We'll see you on the 4th of July for your big for your big festival. Congratulations. Thanks for coming. It's a beautiful, beautiful. fall. Beautiful. Outstanding job. Want to remind you folks, Rotary Club of Swim organizes and runs this parade. They're not in the parades. They're too busy judging and organizing to make sure the parade runs smoothly and they do a great job with it every year. All right, folks, coming through the intersection right now is the Mount Olympus Marine Corps League, Detachment 897. Looking good, guys. It's an organization for fellow Marines and Navy members to join together in aiding and rendering assistance to all Marines. We support Toys for Talks and many other veterans' events. And they are very squared away. They are very, yeah, definitely. Sharp, sharp, sharp. Mount Olympus Marine Corps. Port Angeles ROTC. We got nothing on them. All right, folks, here comes the Squim High School Marching Band. Squim High School, you've got your band judges right over here, Patsy and Jerry. We've got the Squim High School cheerleaders following up that band. Our next entry is Voices for Veterans. Voices for Veterans was formed 11 years ago. They're all local people in the peninsula who saw a need and followed up on it. They do three stand downs a year for all veterans, but the main focus is on the homeless and the needy veterans. Thank you very much for your service. Thank you for what you do. Squim Fire Department, folks. 
That's a beautiful machine. Taking good care of that thing, aren't you? We also have the Clallam County Fire District, number three. right now is the Korean War Veterans Association, the Olympic Peninsula Branch. First Korean War Veterans Chapter in the state of Washington. First American Korean War Veterans Chapter to march in Victoria, B.C. on Queen Victoria's birthday. That must have been a big event. <laughs> All right. Thank you for your service. Korean War Veterans. Thank you. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so our, our next entry. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> your Squim Masonic Lodge and representative from the Grand Lodge of Washington all the way from Tacoma, there's a Grand Master. I'll Sam you, Roberts. I'll let you take this away, Pepper. Gentlemen. Near and dear to his welcome heart. Welcome to Squim. It's a long hoof, you guys hanging in there? Cousin Clay. Hi <laughs> guys, good showing here today. John, Chip, good to see you guys. Charlie, this year's Squim Masonic Lodge celebrates 100 years of community service here in Squim. Many of Squim's original pioneers and settlers were Masons. As a proud Mason myself, I can tell you that over the years, Squim Masons have been your local firemen, police officers, clergy, and businessmen. We've given away close to a million dollars in high school scholarships, $50,000 just this year to your Squim High School. We have a 20-year government surplus food bank giveaway, and we donate bicycles to the Squim Middle School Reading Program. This summer in August, you can see a tribute to 100 years of masonry in Clallam County at your Squim Museum and Arts Center we hope you'll join us there. Hi, guys. Good to see you, Rich. Is that more Masons coming up? 100 years of Masonry and Squim. And of course, what would the Masonic Lodge be without the Shriners? Up next, your Shriners. This is the Nile Shrine all the way from Edmonds. An Olympic Peninsula Shrine Club joining as well. Shriners Hospitals for Children is a network of pediatric specialty hospitals where children under the age of 18 receive excellent medical care absolutely free of charge. Shriners Hospitals are located throughout North America. There are 20 in the United States and one each in Mexico and Canada. The Shriners Hospitals accept and treat children without regard to race, religious orientation, and there is never a charge to a patient, parents, or anyone else for any service or medical treatment received at Shriners Hospitals. And the Shriners just keep coming and coming and coming. Hey folks! Shrine here. More Shriners. Good to see you guys. Hi guys. Thanks for coming all the way. Yes. Hey Ed. You. Hey Ed. Hey, Ed. Hey, Ed. Good to see you guys. Thanks for coming all the way from Edmonds. More Shriners. 
I bet those fesses are hot this time of year. We could do an entire parade of just Shriners. Mile Oriental Band of Seattle. And what's a parade without a clown car? Oh no. Don't let that skunk out. I ain't gonna smell you enough. How many clowns you got in that car? A thousand? And your representatives of Kitsap Peninsula Shrine Club also. Thanks for coming, guys. Up next, we have Sherwood Assisted Living. Entry number 15, Sue. Sherwood Assisted Living has been nestled in our beautiful valley for 41 years, providing the highest quality of care for seniors with 24-hour nursing care. We've got great food, community involvement, and endless activities. Right behind the Sherwood Assisted Living is your representatives for POWs and MIAs in the Black 1954. Please join us in saluting those brave men and women who are or have been prisoners of war, missing in action, or have otherwise given the ultimate sacrifice to preserve the freedom and liberty for the rest of us here at home. You will never be forgotten. And we thank you. Up next, Disabled American Veterans representatives. The DAV van goes to Seattle Veterans Hospital five days a week. All of the drivers are volunteers. In 2014, 912 veterans were driven to Seattle for appointments. They're doing very, very good work. Awesome. Up next, Discovery Memory Care. This is a place that's near and dear to our, our hearts. These folks took really good care of my mother. And uh, we love you guys. Yeah, thank you, honestly. More Discovery Memory Care folks coming in. Nice rig there, number 18. Discovery Memory Care is a secured assisted living community for those with all forms of memory loss, including Alzheimer's, which um, Shirley Fisher uh, suffered from. They took great care of her. Please join them in their fight to end Alzheimer's disease by participating in the fourth annual North Olympic Peninsula Walk to End Alzheimer's. That'll be on September 26th at the Boys and Girls Clubs. All right, our next entry coming through the intersection right now is the Fifth Avenue Retirement and the Lodge at Sherwood Village. At the Fifth Avenue Retirement Community, retirees enjoy one-of-a-kind residence with park-like grounds, 
spacious apartments, and home-cooked meals. There's no place like the fifth. Experience the most luxurious retirement living on the Olympic Peninsula, the Lodge at Sherwood Village. Coming up next, your Squim Valley Lions Club. Hi, folks. All right, Patsy and Jerry, are you just ready to judge your little tails off? Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the local kids. This is Squim Middle School Band. All right. Give a big hand to the locals. Section next is our Grand Marshal, Joe and Tawana Borden. Here's Joe. Hi, guys. Hi, Joe. Good to see you again. Hi, Tawana. Beautiful car. Oh, you better hold on tight there. <laughs> Who do you got driving that oh, that's thing? That's a grandson, huh? <laughs> hey, kiddo. Beautiful car. Hi, fantastic. Thanks for all the hard work you've done over the years, Joe and Tawana Borden. All right. Our next... Entry number 23 is our grand pioneer, Art Rogers, and, and this lovely is wife. wife. Now, what's your wife's name? Phyllis. Janice. 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 Hi, Janice. It is says Art show? Rogers and wife. We had to... <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Congratulations, Art. Congratulations. Well, this next entry... Number 24 is your grand this, pioneer this year. And I'm very familiar with Helen Butcher and her duck. She comes and visits the Squim City Hall on a regular basis. That is the most cuddly duck I have ever... Hi, Helen. ...held. <laughs> Hi, Helen. All right, and we've got our honorary pioneer, Jeff Scholl. And wife. Now let's Linda. See. Linda. Jeff and Linda. Hi, Jeff and Linda. Hi, folks. Thanks for coming. Fantastic car. That's a beautiful Falcon. All right. Our next honorary pioneer is Margie Russell. Margie Russell Lester. Hi, Margie. Good looking vehicle. Next, we've got U.S. Representative Derek Kilmer. Welcome to Squim, Derek. Hi, Derek. And the next entry rolling through the intersection is your mayor, Candace Pratt. Hi, Candace. You did the smart thing by wearing a hat today. Hello, Your Honor. We weren't thinking. Good to see you. Hi, Candace. Anything to say to the folks, Mayor? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Good to see you. Entry number 30 is your Jamestown Scrollum Tribe Council. Liz Mueller, Vice Chair. Teresa Lehman, Treasurer. Heather Johnson. Johnson Jack. Jack. Heather Johnson Jack is, is the, the treasurer. treasurer. Did we get it right? <laughs> All right. Uh, next, coming through the intersection is the Junior Royalty from Grey Wolf. That's Michael Soto and Mackenzie Patton. 
Mackenzie's been working on that wave, I can tell. Oh yeah, that's good form. Good form. All right, next coming through the intersection is our junior royalty from Helen Haller. We have Alden Albers and Ava Fuller. Hi, Alden and Ava. You guys also have the waves down really well. Looking good in those crowns and tiara. <laughs> And next coming up, we've got some past royalty. Well, that doesn't sound too good. You're still royalty in our eyes. That's Queen... Katie Tapia and Princess Judy Villella. 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 Judy and Katie, thanks. Looking lovely. Thanks for coming today. by, looking Very great. Lovely. We've got some more past royalty. Princess Kaylee. Uh, is it Dil Ditlifson. Ditlifson. And Princess Christina Holtrup. Hello, guys. Looking good. Kaylee and Christina, you look great. You'll always be royalty in our eyes. Okay, next we've got our children's parade winner. Oh, we don't have a name, so let's see here. Number 35. Read the card here. It's Gavin Albers. Hello, Gavin. Congratulations. Hi, Gavin. Well, you have better eyesight than I do. What's your secret? How do you win the kids' parade? <laughs> just, just by looking fabulous? Oh boy. All right, now we've got our button design winner, which is Madeline Pickens. Hi, Madeline, congratulations. That's Madeline, your button design winner. Hi, Madeline, congratulations. Okay, Patsy and Jerry, are you on your toes over there? All right, they're getting ready to judge the Bremerton, Washington High School Marching Band and Drill Team. Oh, Pepper loves these outfits. He just loves these outfits. I'd give him the blue ribbon for best, best outfits. Yeah. Hi, Bremerton. Thanks for coming. Let's guys see some great. good form here. You've got your band judges right next to us. Let's welcome the Bremerton High School Marching Band, folks. Flag and drill team. Drum majors are Rochelle. And Danielle, flag captains are Haley and Nicole, and drill team captains Jamie and Jennifer. Hi guys. The group is instructed by Max Carter, Catherine Derry, and Felicity Jeromillo. Today they're performing Get It On, Jump In The Line, Anchors Away. Thanks for coming guys, sounding good. Bremerton, way to go. All right, next we've got your American Red Cross, folks. Doing a lot of good work. Thank you. <laughs> And coming through the intersection right now is your Citizens for Swim Schools. Make some noise, yeah, lean on that horn. How can you say no to schools? Come on. <laughs> Hi, guys.
more swim schools coming through. It's a long hike, isn't it? <laughs> he looks like she's up for it. Well, my goodness, they have their own announcer, the Swim School Operetta. Here they come, talented group of, of kids. Scrim High School presents Fiddler on the Roof. Uh, actually, tonight at 7 o'clock, and then next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, they have a big performance. Thanks for coming, guys. We'll see you tonight at 7 o'clock for the big show, right? Woohoo! All right, the Squim Aquatic Recreational Center is coming through now. The SARC, your one and only swimming pool in the city of Squim. Thanks for coming, kids. We'll see you at SARC. Up next, more locals. This is your squim irrigation float this year. And it's a beauty. We've got Queen Megan and her royal court, Amanda. Which one's Amanda? Hi, Amanda. Where's Emily? Which one's Emily? Okay, there's Emily. And Morgan. Where's Morgan? All right, hi, Morgan. Looking good, you guys. Fantastic. And there is your Swim Irrigation Festival. Thanks, guys. All right. Coming through the intersection next is our Sound Community Bank. Now, does anybody out there need some peanut butter? Is that... All right, I've got some peanut butter here. Thanks, guys. Yeah? Thank you. Oh, here's one more. Anybody got any peanut butter? These folks are doing a food drive. Thank you, Sound Community. Okay. Let's see here. Citizen of the Year. It's Cliff Whiting. Hi, Cliff. Congratulations. Beautiful car. It's in honor of Cliff. All right, Nash's Organic Produce rolling through. Hello, Nash's Organic Produce. Love your store. Love it. Awesome tractor. That is great. We need one of those, hon. Yeah, we do. Hi, Nash. All right, okay, so in the meantime, I'm gonna introduce our next entry is Bananas Preschool. Check out this bunch of monkeys from Bananas Preschool, located in Squam near Cary Blake Park. It was founded in 2007. It's a state licensed center for children ages one through five offering a daily preschool program. Every day is wildly fun while rich in educational experiences. Hello, bananas. There's some peanut butter up there if you're interested. <laughs> All right, we... Okay. Here's the winner of the President's Award, ladies and gentlemen. Let's congratulate the folks from the Daffodil Festival of Pierce County. Congratulations on winning the President's Award this year. Very good. Fresh out of Tacoma. It's a beautiful float. That is fantastic. 
Wait, things have changed a lot since I was in the Daffodil Parade. Um, Were you? Some 40 years ago. Oh, good. Yeah. All right, congratulations on the President's Award, Daffodils. Looking good. Welcome to Squim. Coming up next. In the 1965 Ford Fairlane, representing Callis Insurance, Port Angeles. And what would we do without insurance? And all really? passengers and you know? employees of Callis Insurance. Thanks, Thanks for, for being coming. there. Folks, did you know we have a radio station here in Squim? It's called KSQM. It's public radio, 91.5 on the FM dial. I have here on the stage with me Lorraine Clare. She's the general manager of the radio station. Would you like to say hello to the fine folks? I would. Does everybody in Squim know that you have a radio station? Woo! We are broadcasting out across the world live 24-7 on our website www.ksqmfm.com and we have people all over the world listening to us right now. We're preserving nostalgic radio and we're just so excited to be here representing our community. Well, thanks for coming. Thank you, Lorraine. Absolutely. Okay, we've got the Dungeness River Audubon Center coming through the intersection right now. The Dungeness River Audubon Center is located in Squim's Railroad Bridge Park. It's open to the public all throughout the year. And they want you to stop by, folks, and, and uh, see the Natural History Museum. Also, they're celebrating the Dungeness oh. Bridge's 100th birthday this year. There we go. 100-year-old bridge. Over there, you can stop and see it. The refuge is also a hundred years old. Very good to know. Up next in the parade, number forty-nine, Mrs. Mrs. Wheelchair Washington. Woo! Her name is Julie Broadwell. She's from Squim. Hi, Julie. She was crowned Miss Wheelchair Washington 2015. She's going to represent the state of Washington and compete in the Miss Wheelchair America 2016 pageant. That's awesome. going to be in Des Moines, Iowa on July 27th. It looks like she's joined by Meg Paulson. Hi, Meg. Thanks for coming. Woo. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome... The Tonino Sound Train. Placed first in the 1A division in last year's parade. Oh, and this next entry is near and dear to my heart because uh, I work for the city of Squim, but that is your back truck. Let's see who's driving that thing. Is that Ty? Oh, hi Ty, how are you? So that's a big vacuum cleaner? Is yes, it is. It's a ginormous vacuum cleaner that's a. Uh, it's about a $400,000 truck, guys. And um, Ty takes really good care of it. He's taken really good care of your sewer systems. It's a thankless job. Up next, folks. Habitat for Humanity of Clallam County. A world where everyone has a decent place to live. <laughs> Doing fantastic work. We want to thank the volunteers of Habitat for Humanity. They encourage you to volunteer, right? Right, volunteer for Habitat for Humanity, guys. Here's your Grand Sweepstakes winner coming up next, your number one float of this year's parade, and it goes to Capital Lake Fair. The Capital Lake Fair's float with the 2015 theme of fabulous family fun. 
Capital Lake Fair started in 1957, and 58 years later, it is still going strong. George Sharp is the 2015 Capital Lake Fair president. Riding on the float is Queen Madeline and Princesses, Emily and Clarissa. All right, which one's Emily? All right, there's Emily, where's Clarissa? There she is. Congratulations. Congratulations, guys. Grand sweepstakes winner. Looking good. Oh, I love that song. All right, everybody clap. Out of 1946 John Deere tractor. It's 69 years. This is owned by the Erickson family. Looking good, guys. Awesome. Coming up next looks like the Aspire Academy of Expressive Arts. Hi, kids. The Aspire Academy of Expressive Arts, they've been serving Squim families since 2007. Aspire offers dance instruction in ballet, jazz, tap, hip hop, and modern style, as well as music classes for students and adults of all ages. They're gonna be performing their annual dance recital on June 20th and June 21st at the Squim High School uh, Auditorium. So you should stop by, guys. Or stop by the studio this week to find out more about the many dance camps that will be going on through July and August. Looks like we're gonna get a performance right here. All right. All right, guys, you guys are looking at the Aspire Academy. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thanks, girls. Excellent work. <laughs> Entry number 55, the Relay for Life. American Cancer Society Relay for Life at Squim. Come and re relay like it's 1985, <laughs> Saturday, August 8th. 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. downtown Squim. There'll be lots of food, entertainment, and activities. You can check out the website at relayforlife.org. Come and relay like it's 1985. <laughs> right on. Okay, so our Grand Marshal has joined us up here. Getting exciting. All right, well, maybe we should have you announce these, right? They're Lorraine, here. why don't you come right? say hello to uh, These are your folks. This is the fun folks from KSQM. Good and plenty oldies is what we play. We're young at heart, but we play the classic music of the oldies. So welcome Ed Evans, our news broadcaster, giving you guys all the latest and greatest news on our in our community. And we have a new program, Baby Boomer Humor, Miss Sally, Miss Sassy Sally right there, Art Moore, one of our announcers, volunteers. Oh my goodness, you came in. Hi, Mary. You really came in here. Miss Mary Hood, she has got oh, there she is. Classy Bob Massey in her car there. There's Mary. Hi, Mary. At nine years old, he is proclaimed the nation's oldest radio announcer right here in Squim. And it's a lot more than just nostalgic music, folks. There are shows like the 101 Electric Radio Show, Pat Neal's Wildlife, Dorothy's Doo-Wop Drive-In, and a new one, Baby Boomer Humor. Somebody likes that one. Somebody likes that show. And the yellow cart won first place for classic cars. Congratulations. Awesome. This it's is the one that won beautiful. that Jeepster. Just won beautiful. First. You've got the blue ribbon. Congratulations. That's Maggie Roth. Hi, Maggie. 
All right, our next entry coming through the intersection right now is Fit for Life Studio. Fit for Life Studio is located across from Office Depot. It offers a variety of classes to include indoor cycling, Pilates, suspension training, that sounds painful, uh, kettlebells, yoga, Zumba, strength tra training. I don't know what Bo BOSU is, B-O-S-U. I am obviously not a fit expert. Foam roller and turbo kick. Fit for Life Studio offers personal training as well as personal yoga and Pilates session. In addition, Fit for Life Studio offers their guaranteed to lose inches and weight meltdown series as well as nutrition counseling. Check them out. Fitforlife.com squim. Oh, fitforlifeswim.com. Excuse me, getting ahead of myself. <laughs> and right behind Fit for Life, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the Tonino Middle School Night Band. This is their first appearance. All right, and welcome to Swim. Festival. They've performed in the past at Long Beach Loyalty Days. All the way from Tonino. All right, this is who you got to impress. Patsy and Jerry over here. These are your judges. Let's hear it, guys. Right. Now we next we've got the Clallam County Fair Royalty. Welcome. Come to this year's fair, guys, on August 20th through the 23rd. This year's theme is fun for the whole herd. Amanda and Becky hope to see you there. Which one's Amanda? Oh, all right. There's Amanda, Becky. You must be the other one, right? Hi, guys. Welcome. Hi. I love that fair. It's always fun to go look at the animals. Woo! Entry number 60, International Junior Miss Scholarship Pageant. So this is the smart, this is the smart car, right? Yeah, there you Sylvia go. Sylvia Colson. Say hello, Sylvia. Hi, Sylvia. Hi, Sylvia. Welcome. Good job. She's Miss Evergreen 2015. And we also have Abigail Plutema, Miss West Coast 2015. Where's Abigail? <laughs> Not here today? Not there? Okay. Uh-oh, they're coming up on your rear. Let's see what do we got here? All right, our next entry is Pearls of the Sea. Hello, Pearls of the Sea. You're looking fantastic. That is a fantastic float. Wow, look at those fish. They're representing the Fathoms of Fun Festival. That's awesome. Pearls of the Sea with Queen Charlotte. Hello, Charlotte. Hi, Charlotte. And Princess Cheyenne and Princess Tamara. Tamara? All right, Tamara. Leading the subjects is Friend of the Octopus, who is ever vigilant of the surrounding water, watching for danger with our other subjects and enjoying the music. Memorial Day weekend in Port Orchard, folks, the Fathoms of Fun Festival. All right, it's the Boys and Girls Club. Youth of the Year is Cole Tamba. I hope I, I'm hoping I pronounced that right. Cole, where's Cole? Where's Cole? Oh, he's oh, up there. there. Hi, Cole. Hey, congratulations, Congratulations. Cole. Youth of the Year is Cole Tamba. He placed first in the state of Washington in the Skills USA competition. He's going to represent the Olympic Peninsula in the Nationals in Kentucky. Also, Cole has enlisted in the Army. He ships out in August. Congratulations, Cole. Hi kids. There's your Squim Little League. Hey guys, good luck this year.
Looks like you're ready to play ball. Yeah? Yeah, looks like it. <laughs> All right. Our next entry is the 2015 Marysville Strawberry Festival. They're celebrating buried treasure. Let it shine. That's that's a uh, royalty Savannah and Princess Cassie. Hello, guys. We've also got Marina. And is this the first Baptist church of Squim? Is that who that's like quite the scouts? No, nope, it looks the like scouts. the scouts. Oh, we don't have any write up on the scouts for crying out loud. We'll find it. There we go. There's our first Baptist church. Hi. <laughs> Up next, entry number 66 is Kaufman Small Engine Repair and Lawn Care for all your small engine repair and lawn care needs. Call Kaufman. We could really use you up at our place right now. <laughs> And behind Kaufman's is the Shipley Center, formerly known as the Squim Senior Activity Center. They have close to 1,800 members. They offer activities every day of the week and also schedule day and overnight trips to shows, museums, gardens, and so much more in Seattle, Tacoma, and other areas. The Shipley Center offers a place for friendship, recreation, education. Stop by, take a tour, find out more. All right, our next entry is the Irrigation Festival Royalty from the Past. We have a lot of names here. <laughs> Serving the community has always been a core value for our current and past royalty courts. Being chosen to represent Squim as Irrigation Festival Royalty is an honor and a lifelong commitment. Here today, still representing this community is Irrigation Royalty from throughout the past 63 years. Thanks, guys. Awesome. Oh, that's a lot Ooh, of beauty. They keep that's coming. an awful lot of beauty. <laughs> Bye, ladies. Hello. Hello. I'll just bring, I'll read names. We, we've got K. Bauer Randall, Betty Ellis Kettle, Phyllis Bauer, Judy Markley, Jean Correa, Loxy Gradius. Carrie, Cindy, Amanda. We have Robin, Beth, Linda, and Darcy. We've Julie. got Julianne, Anita, Rebecca, Cynthia, Kim, and Pauline. Finally, we've got Brooke, Carla, and... Persephone. Persephone. That was a mouthful. Hi, ladies. Those are your past Irrigation Festival royalty, guys. Ooh, and they just keep coming, don't they? Well, that's what 120 years will give you, right? Hi, guys. Hi, ladies. There they are, ladies and gentlemen, your past festival royalty for irrigation. Hi ladies. Coming up next, Chimica Middle School Band.
Angelica Middle School. They've earned praise for its performance at the North Olympic Music Educators Band Adjudication, earning an excellent rating. Congratulations. Up next, Girl Scouts. It's the Girl Scouts USA. Hi, girls. Love your cookies. They want to thank everyone for their support with cookies and other events. They say come join them for day camp. It'll be the last full week in July. All right, and now, ladies and gentlemen, here comes a lively symbol of the American spirit, the Wells Fargo Stagecoach, with Michael Wakefield handling the ribbons. In the early days of its business, Wells Fargo relied heavily on the stagecoach to deliver minors to their destinations. Stagecoaches traveled at an average of five miles per hour and stopped every 45 to 50 miles for meals, which consisted of beans, bacon, bread, and coffee. Hello, Wells. Coming up next, Olympic restaurant equipment. First time entry this year. They offer a full line of new and used cooking equipment, utensils, cutlery, and other supplies, as well as a huge assortment of stainless steel sinks, tables, shelving, and other storage solutions. Olympic Restaurant Equipment, open to the public at 51 Drake Road, in Squim, on the corner of Drake and Highway 101. Luigi came along, hey! Oh, yeah. That's, I tell you, uh, that shop is great. It is a cook's delight. Well, look who we have next. We've got Twisters Gymnastics. They inspire youth to reach their full potential through gymnastics and fitness fantastic guys wow that is super it's like they can fold themselves in half almost twisters gymnastics guys hi Outstanding. Easy oh, now. There we go. Holy cats. That a girl. Whatever they're doing is working. <laughs> Pace yourself now. You've got a ways to go. All right, our next entry is Surf Pro of Clallam and Jefferson County. They are there to help you clean up if you have a disaster of any kind. If you've got a fire or a flood, or you Lord, know who to call. Yeah. Call 1-800-SURF-PRO. Or that number on the side of the door there. Here comes a beautiful float, Mason County Forest Festival. The theme of this year's Forest Festival float is celebrate the seasons of our forest. The float includes the queen of the forest, Queen Shelby. All right, guys, you guys are looking at Mason County. Hi, Mason County. Everybody say hello to Shelby Garrett. Hi, Shelby. We also have Welcome to Squim. Chelsea Sager, Allie Anderson, Veronica's on there, and Riley. Oh, and Emily oh, Frost. Oh, I missed Emily. Hi, Emily. <laughs> the float is also accompanied by the legendary Paul oh, Bunyan. Paul Bunyan. All right. Timber the Axeman. Man. 
All right, just rolling through the intersection right now is a classic tractor from 1951. It's a Ford 8N tractor. It was bought new by Squim retiree Royal Seal. Bought it in 1951, hot off the line. Oh. All right, our next entry is the new Dungeness Lighthouse. The new Dungeness Lighthouse was the first U.S. lighthouse completed on the Strait of Juan de Fuca. It has operated continuously since 1857. That is a long time. The lighthouse is one of the very few that allow individuals, families, or groups an opportunity to be lighthouse keepers for a week. That just sounds fantastic. Check the website for availability and book an adventure like no other. Stay for a week, memories for a lifetime. That sounds like fun. It does. You gotta do that. Hi, Joe. There's your Grand Marshal, ladies and gentlemen, up here on the dais, Joe Borden. And there's Tawana. All right, next up, we've got our Squim High School Robotics Club. Hello, Squim High School Robotics Club. They competed and they won first place at the Glacier Peak District event in Snohomish. Wow, and nice they, work, guys. They also received the Innovation and Control Award sponsored by Rockwell Aut Automation. Squim High School Robotics Club finished the season ranked 44th out of 152 teams. Nice work, guys. All right, what do we got rolling through the... What have we got rolling through here now? That's the robotics Another club. masterpiece. What's it do? It flings frisbees, honey. Did you miss that? I did. Oh, okay. There it goes. I did. I was reading. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Nice work, guys. Congratulations. Coming through the intersection next, we've got First Federal. First Federal has been strengthening communities since 19, is that a 63 or a 23? 23, that's a long time. They've been providing innovative banking solutions that help meet your financial goals and achieve your dreams. Well, thank you, First Federal. More First Federal folks. Yep. Entry number 79, White Crane Martial Arts of Port Angeles. PA's downtown community center for eight different martial arts, six days a week, with Grand Master Nichols. He's an eighth degree black belt and current national champion in two divisions. Well, I guess we know who to call if our squim police need any help, right? Thanks, you guys. Right. Also, also your Grandmaster Nichols is a member of the Martial Art Hall of Fame. Coming up next, United States Army.
stand army strong. And they're being quickly pursued by your Port Angeles High School Rough Rider Band. Let's hear it for the PA Band. the big black truck, Mr. Les Schwab Tire Center serving the peninsula one tire at a time. <laughs> Doing it right since 1952, it's Les Schwab. Thanks Les Schwab. You've saved my bacon more than, more than once, that's for sure. them is We Do Fudge is the name of the business. The only drive through fudge stand in the country. They're at the corner of Hooker Road and Highway 101. Open Tuesday and Wednesday, 10 to 4. Free fudge during the month of May. Stop by for some free fudge. Can't beat that. And here's your winner of the Mayor's Award. Congratulations. 80 years and still blooming is their theme. It's the Rhododendron Festival of Port Townsend. All right, that must be Queen Samantha. Hi, Samantha. Princess Lillian. Princess Morgan. Princess Deidre. Welcome back, guys. Here's an organization near and dear to our hearts. It's WAG, Welfare for Animals Guild. Hi, folks. WAG is a local dog rescue dedicated to rescuing and rehabilitating and finding homes for dogs. Like our dog, Spider. Like our dog, Spider. Yeah. We love that little guy. Oh, hi, Judy. Spider says hi. <laughs> Thanks for all you do, you guys. Excellent work. Your North Olympic Library System. All right. It's the Straight Laced Librarians. Very fancy boots there. North Olympic Library System, from books to ebooks, fun programs, and more. The library has you covered. These are the Straight Paced Librarians. <laughs> I can see you've been working on your routine. Very nice. A 
library drill team. Well done. All right, our next entry and walking through the intersection right now is Squim Acrobatics. Squim Acrobatics teaches acrobatics, gymnastics, and tumbling to all ages six and up. All right, nice work, guys. Oh my goodness, that looks dangerous. <laughs> wow, fantastic. Good job. It's scary to look at. <laughs> oh, 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 Easy. there she goes. Easy. Good job. Right. Awesome. Squim acrobatics, folks. All right, our, our next entry is Miss West Sound Scholarship Program. We have Sharice Martinelli from Silverdale. You're also going to be seeing Matea Griffey of Poolsbow. And in car number three, Kylie Brent of Seabet. Hi, Mataya. Welcome to Squam. All right, coming through right now, it's Kaylee Brandt. Oh, this is, uh, this is the... Hi, Kaylee. Oh, hi. <laughs> You're getting ahead of yourself there, huh? Here comes the Corvette. Up next, we've got the Glass Odyssey Corvette Club. They're devoted to the enjoyment of owning a Corvette. Of course. A lot of hot cars. A lot of hot cars. Don't be afraid to honk those horns. Make some noise, folks. Do, do Corvettes have horns? There we go. Glass Odyssey Corvette Club. Well, I'm glad the orange guy isn't driving. Quiet. Okay, Corvette folks, don't be afraid to make a little bit of noise. <laughs> that'll be, that'll get it. talking just getting these hot cars out on a hot day my goodness beautiful what's better than that throw the top down Folks, while there's a little break in the action, I want to thank the man over here on the stage that has presented us with the sound system today. His name is Blake Owen. You might know him as DJ OB1. Thanks, Blake. Beautiful job. We really appreciate the time and effort you put in. DJ OB1. All right, so our next entry is Price Ford. It's a locally owned dealership, guys. Beautiful car. From old to new, right? Awesome. You're not hauling firewood in that thing, are you? No. So that's what it used to be look like, and here is what it currently looks like. That looks much more formidable. That's a very tough guy. <laughs> I don't know. That one's been around so long. Well, that's true. It must have been built right. <laughs> Thanks for coming, guys. Price Ford. Price Ford. That is a sweet looking rig. <laughs> I like that car. That is awesome. 
Coming up next, entry number 90 is Squim Health and Rehabilitation. Squim Health and Rehabilitation specializes in short-term and long-term care. They offer 24-hour skilled nursing services and therapy. And we got a big horn honker driving that thing. <laughs> Hi, kid. Coming up next is Miss Poolspove 2015, Nicole Lacey. Hello, Nicole. Hi, Nicole. You look lovely today. Fantastic. Nicole is proud to be the 62nd woman to wear the traditional Norwegian bunad. Bunad, 17 years old. She's a senior at Olympic High School. Her platform is anti-bullying. All right, next we've got Port Townsend. No, wait, 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 wait. We also have Miss Kitsap. Sabrina Tucker. Hi, Sabrina. Sabrina is an 18 year old graduate from Bremerton High School. Sabrina's platform is Boys and Girls Club. She's Welcome riding with her pageant little sister, Vanessa Holly. Hi, Vanessa. You got the wave down. Looking good, looking good. And in car number three, Miss Silverdale, Madison Gilmore. Madison is thrilled to be named the sixth Miss Silverdale. She's a 17 year old senior at Central Kitsap High School. And her pageant little sister is Virginia Acker. Hi Virginia. Looking good guys. <laughs> And here is your Port Townsend High School Band. Let's listen. stage here is Peninsula Pet Grooming. They're located in Squim, offering pet grooming services with quick pickup and delivery available. Family owned and operated since 1974. I think Spider needs to go visit them. <laughs> you can use a little grooming. He does. I can use a little, a little grooming, grooming myself. And we've got Gary Todd with his Ten Commandments entry this year. Squim Fresh Catering. Catering services for all occasions, from box lunches to birthday celebration buffets to weddings, Squim Fresh Catering is where to support your event. I am getting hungry. All right, next we've got Miss Northwest's Outstanding Teen, and that's Emily Houston. Hi, Emily, welcome to SWIM, and congratulations. Emily will be competing in the state pageant over Memorial Day weekend. She's currently a junior at Kitsap, South Kitsap High School. She serves her community as their survivor chairperson for the South Kitsap's Relay for Life. And just cruising through the intersection right now is the Squim Museum and Arts. Oh, number 96 here. 19, wow. That's a 1946 John Deere. That's a beauty. Wow, you guys are really making good time this year. 
There's your Clallam County PUD celebrating 75 years of serving your local community. Thank you to the folks at the PUD. They do a great job. Thank you, PUD. Appreciate the electricity. And prompt attention to when the power goes out. They are there for you. My goodness. And what all the way from Hoquiam, representing the Hoquiam Loggers Play Day, one of my favorite festivals. This is Scott Vesey Trucking here representing the Hoquiam Loggers Play Day. Coming up on September 12th. Welcome to Squim. I'm from Aberdeen. Great to see you guys. I love the play day. All right, all right. some hot sauce there. Yep. We don't have anything on that. So September 12th in Hoquiam, check out the play day. We got the hot sauce here. Yep. Oh, that's the back of ours. There we go. Holy cats. Well, we should, we know the back of ours. Hello, back of our trucking. We don't have an entry for you, but we know who you are. We want to remind everybody about the logging show that is free and taking place currently at Cary Blake Park. If you haven't seen it, it is something else. In the 1937 Chevy logging truck, that's Singho's logging. This is their 32nd year in Squim. Good to see you again. Yeah, just a great reminder to head down to Cary Blake Park and enjoy the logging show. And we have Accurate Crane. Holy cow. That is an oversized load. Need a lift? Hello, Accurate Angle. Hey, lift Hi up. there. From jacuzzis to Very shirts. impressive machinery. Tree trimming. Hi. Daniel is a squim local, proudly serving Clallam, Kitsap, Jefferson, and beyond. You be careful with that thing. Well, folks. That was the last entry that we have for the 120th Irrigation Festival Grand Parade. Again, we want to thank Owen Blake for sound. We'll see you again next year. Now go out and have some fun and enjoy your Irrigation Festival. Alan Halfill up here, that's videotape it. He'll be posting that up at KSQM's Facebook page. You'll be able to see the parade, folks. Thank you for coming. <laughs>